All right, what's going on, guys? It's GSR here. So, um, I wanted to show you guys the pros and cons of mashing real quick. So, if you notice something, right? If I go for like a double down one with Kano, right? You'll notice that I don't necessarily get, you know, um, an escape fail, right? I get a reversal throw counter, and Kano's not taking the throw in the right direction or anything, even when I go for a four throw. All right, cool. Now, I want you guys to keep that in mind. Now, when I go for multiple down ones, because I'm mashing um, multiple down ones, right? Um, the game is not necessarily registering that I'm going for multiple down ones. Most of the time, the game is thinking to themselves or thinking to itself, excuse me, that, oh, he's going for a standing one. So watch this. You're able to check the back throw when you go and mash uh, multiple down ones, even though the game is not necessarily registering that you're mashing multiple down ones. This applies with any character in the game, right? Um, it's pretty much universal. If I go for a four throw, guess what? Throw a space there. So what does this mean exactly? This means that I can do this now. And you just enhanced my offense. So I want you guys to look at this. Easy question blows us off. Now, I want you guys to also pay attention to this as well, right? Uh, I'm gonna show you on the other side, right? Like I said, this applies. This applies not just with Kano, but this applies with a huge portion of characters. I don't know why Kung Lao is doing that, but it's whatever. So if Kung Lao does this, right? Um, what'll happen here is, is that I can go for a throw and throw escape fail, um, and guess what happens? So you can also do this with the down four as well in this game. Um, if the player does this and they're mashing, so if I do this and then I do this, look what happens. Because you're doing the down four one, you're not able to tech the throw in the right direction. But you can tech the uh, the four throw in the right direction. You see that? So in a weird way, it's kind of like you have an option select um, because you're mashing. It's very weird. Um, but because you're doing this, uh, this allows me to get a crack and blow. Or I can save it to where it enhances my offense and it makes you more intimidating. So this is just uh, something that I wanted to show you guys um, of the pros and cons of mashing. But also uh, another con is that you're not necessarily timing your attack. Um, and characters like Scorpion could possibly get a slow attack to come out or possibly a crushing blow. Um, because you're not necessarily timing your attack correctly. So that's another con as well. Um, not only that, you can create new neutral. Like, I mean, if the opponent does this, like, you can obviously back up. Um, and do something like this, and then, you know, even though I just fucked that up, like, you, you get where I'm going with that, right? Um, so this is pretty much the pros and cons of mashing, so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.